Hey, it's Red Lace, and today I'm playing Terraria on the Xbox One in hard mode. And today I'm going to build an arena. And uh, the arena is useful for boss fights, and uh, I'm going to build it right over there by that little house I made. And uh, so that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to show you some tips for how to build an arena that is more effective for battle, so that you can... Um, stay alive <laughs> and uh, defeat the bosses easier and this arena is especially important for hard mode just because the bosses are more difficult and with that one things will be much more hard for you and so this will just make things easier so to get started um we're gonna want some asphalt blocks and i've already made some so i'm gonna go ahead and just grab what i have you can find them there there and uh, to make asphalt you need the blend o -matic, which the steampunker sells uh, and it's this crafting station right here, and you need stone and gel for that. And um, if you haven't already gotten asphalt, you can wire up your slime statue like I have to get unlimited gel, uh, just like that. So mine's wired up and I've gotten plenty of asphalt, so I don't need to get more. And uh, you'll also want to make some campfires, which regenerate your health. So campfire is a torch and some wood. So we're gonna make a couple of those. We don't need many, but we'll make a few. And then we also need plenty of torches. And another thing that's really useful to have in an arena is heart lamps or heart lanterns. And uh, they take one of the life crystals and four chains, which you can make chains with iron or lead. And heart lanterns also provide health regeneration, so it's super useful to have uh, around your arena to provide extra life regeneration. So we're going to make a few of these also. And we're going to go ahead and just make a bunch of them because I'm going to use them for lighting mostly also. So there we go. So that's enough to get us started, so let's head over to our area we're going to build the arena. And we'll get started. So I made this house yesterday, and um, this is kind of my arena house. So I have uh, automatic doors, which I've wired up here, and um, so no monsters can get in, and they're pressure plates that only work when the player steps on them. And I like to have a bed right next to my arena so that when I die, I can just get right back in the action versus when you die, if you spawn too far away, you have to start the fight over. And so this way it kind of keeps you right in the game. And so uh, I'm going to spawn here and set that as my spawn point when I'm battling. So this is my like arena spawn house. And if we pull up my map, I'm going to build my arena straight out to the left here. And I don't need a huge arena, but I want it decent size. So we're just going to go ahead and lay the foundation for the basic uh, arena here. And I want to know how big it is, so I'm going to go ahead and put on my GPS. Okay, so I'm at 85-ish, we'll say. So we're going to go ahead and drop this down one block and build out because we're going to fill the bottom row in here with asphalt so we can run faster. And uh, so we're going to just go out a little ways. So there's about 20 blocks. 30. Oops. We'll just build it out here to the side. That'll be good. Okay. And then we're going to fill it in with the asphalt. And the bottom level, we want the asphalt just so we can run faster when we need to get away from something. And uh, asphalt is crazy how quick you can run compared to a normal material, so it's super beneficial for an arena. Especially with the boss that's all up in your face and you need to get away from. That's the material to use. So I don't know if I want this completely connected to my house, because it'll look funny. So I'm going to make a little break between the two and maybe just have wood platforms connecting them so let's just do that for now there we go okay so that's asphalt look how fast fast you can run it's awesome okay next thing we want to do is we want to throw in a campfire as you can see life fire so that's important we'll definitely need one of those 
And uh, where's the middle here? Let's zoom out so we can see about where the middle is. Doesn't need to be accurate, but close would be nice. So that looks about right. Okay. So now let's build up the walls and the platforms for the arena. And it's important to have a lot of platforms uh, so you can jump up and down between sections while you're in the battle. And I probably need some more wood, at least out of platforms. So let's make some more of those because we're going to need a lot of them and I definitely don't have enough. There we go. Okay. That'll get us started. <laughs> oh, that asphalt's so fast, you just go running right by everything. Sometimes you have to have things to slow you down just so you don't run past. Okay, and we're gonna leave this first section open so that when I run from my spawn and my bed, I'll run right back into the arena without being blocked by the walls. And then we're gonna go up another one. So I actually um, rebuilt or rebuilt a new world. Uh, I had a really makeshift arena in my last world, and I didn't really like my last world very well. And so this is actually a new world I've started this week um, from scratch, and I just switched it over to hard mode last night, I believe. And uh, so I'm kind of catching up to where I was. Uh, in my previous world, I had beaten the three mechanical bosses and Plantera, and had just gone through the tum temple and fought the Golem. And, um, crap, those go fast, don't they? And, uh, so now I'm trying to catch up, and I figure, you know, once I build an arena, it should go pretty quickly. And so I thought, well, let's build the arena first, and then I can just fight all the bosses super fast, and it'll be really easy, because I'll make sure I have all the life regeneration stuff I need, including, you know, campfires and heart lanterns, and I'll get my statues wired up for health regeneration and all that, so... Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna put down some heart lanterns while we're at it here. Um, so they don't need to be in the arena, per se, so we'll just hang it off the side, and you can see it instantly spawned up top there that I have a buff, and so heart lamp life regens increase. So now we'll have life regen slightly increased from the campfire, and increased with the heart lamp. So there's two automatic buffers. And we'll also have some light, which will help. So we're just gonna add some lanterns here on the end. We'll go do it on the other side when we get back over there too. I really wish the stacks of wood platforms would be bigger so I wouldn't have to grab one every 99. I wish it was like 999 like everything else. And it looks like we're getting up to some sky levels because the harpies are about, unfortunately. Okay. So when we're in the middle, we should still have a buff from everything. Yeah, so see... The campfire is all the way to the edge, and the heart lanterns are across the whole arena, so the buffers are working. And we're going to go up just a few more levels. Arena's always better to be a little bigger than a little too small, so I think we're going to do maybe one more. I think maybe two. And then uh, we won't need to go any higher than that. We can test it by actually fighting a boss. <laughs> See how it goes. So thanks for tuning in today. Uh, I appreciate it. 
with uh, Terraria today in hard mode on the Xbox One and I am building an arena to help out in boss fights. And if you're enjoying the video, please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and watch me live here on Twitch at Red Lace Gaming. So the very top, we do want to close in. Um, we're going to probably go up a double height here for the top so that we can jump around a little easier uh, without hitting our heads on it. But this will keep uh, monsters that fly like at nighttime from getting into our arena, which always sucks. So <laughs> we're going to prevent against that. And it looks like I'm out of wood, so I'm going to head back over and get some wood real fast. Get on my speed boots here so we don't take so long. Go over to my tree farm. So my greenhouse is a bit of a work in progress because I did start a new map, so this one's they just started it last night, and right now it's functional, but not much beyond that. I haven't spent any time decorating it or doing anything like that, but my greenhouse has the first row here is just trees, uh, the second is a sand biome, the third level is a jungle biome that actually is tall enough to allow trees to grow so I don't have to go to the jungle to get jungle wood. And then the final level is a mushroom or a glowing mushroom biome. So you can see uh, right there. I have everything here so I don't have to go anywhere to get stuff, so that's pretty cool. But I definitely need to decorate it, and it's not done by any means. Okay, so let's head back to the arena. Hi, Travis Life, how are you? Thanks for watching today. I swear, this map is like never-ending rain. I think it rains all the time. <laughs> Had really bad luck, I think, with the rain. It just never ends. It would be so bad if it wasn't so loud. It's kind of like Minecraft. The rain in Minecraft just drives me bonkers, because it's just all the time. It's so loud. Okay. So now the arena is sealed in, and our campfire works all the way to the top, so we don't need more than one. One's fine. And we have heart lamps on the edges, and you can see the flying enemies are stuck outside the arena, so they can't damage us during fights. We're going to go ahead and take out this guy, though. And, uh, next I think we need walls. So let's actually have a bunch of walls back at the house. I don't think I want to waste my little bit of wood I have on me right now for that. Or where I put them. Oh, no, I don't. I used them all. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, well, I guess I need to make walls. I guess I need more wood. I don't need a lot of walls. I just need some. So we're gonna go ahead and just use everything we have. Hope I don't have to come back for more. We'll chop some trees down on the way. So someone last week told me that if you chop down the root of the tree, like right here, versus just the tree itself, you actually get some bonus wood, but you only get one piece, and so it's not super worth the time to chop down the root and the stump. So I just go for the whole tree. I figure I can just plant more and not waste my time cutting down a root for one piece of wood just seems a little silly. Um, I don't currently have Terraria on the PC, Trovis. Um, I didn't plan on getting it because I already have it on the Xbox One where I'm playing it now, and I also have it on the 360. Uh, I know the PC has some upgrades, but um, when I'm on the PC, I'm usually playing Starbound instead, so I probably will not get uh, Terraria for the PC. At least not at this time. I might at some point, but right now it's not on my list. Okay, so we're just building up some walls right here. 
so that uh, I can put lights on the walls in the background, so that way um, they're not in the way during the, the fight. We're also going to hang some lanterns up on the top as well, so we're going to stick a heart lamp there. We're just kind of eyeballing this, so it doesn't need to be perfect. doesn't look right. Hmm. I need to go over one more. Okay. So with the background walls here in the middle, we can add torches to those. Pick another heart lamp up there. And we'll just put torches going down. Do the same thing for the other side. Okay, and then we'll do another row in the middle here. Make sure we have light all the way across. A lot of the bosses you have to fight at night time, so it's important you do have good lighting. You can actually see, you can also use shine potions, which uh, increase your light at night time, uh, which are helpful, but you don't really need to use those, and so this is just kind of a, a way to set up your arena so you can see perfectly well at night time without having to actually have any additional um, potions. All right, so now we have lights in the arena, heart lamps, and a campfire for life regeneration, and we have asphalt on the bottom floor for speed. And the next thing we will want to do is wire up some statues so we can get more health regeneration and uh, mana regeneration. So we're going to head back to the house and pick up our wiring tools. And so you'll need a wrench, which places wire, and a wire cutter to remove wire in case you mess up. And then we want to make sure we have some wire, and if you don't know this, your wire can be placed in your ammo slot, so you don't have to take up inventory space with it. And then we're going to need some pressure plates, and it doesn't look like I really have what I want there, so I'm going to buy some. Um, so I want ones that when a player steps on it. So let's get... we need four total. And uh... See, we had one in here, so we need more gold here. Go down and grab some. So there's four pressure plates. And we also want to... Do we? No, we don't need a door. Okay. And then we need the statues. So we need a heart statue and a star statue, and you can find these underground. So a heart statue and a star statue. Okay. Head back over to the arena. It's a werewolf. <laughs> Get out of my arena. It's not for you. Okay, so when I wire up statues in the arena, you have to be close to them, obviously, for them to activate. And um, I like to put them in the middle so I can kind of make a loop when I'm fighting so I can drop up and drop down and just kind of go in circles when I'm fighting something so I know where they are when I need them. And uh, oh, there's another werewolf. So I'm going to put my heart statue... Uh, on this floor, 
and my mana statue on the top floor, and then I'll know where they both are. So I might need to put a door on the arena so that the monsters stay out, because they keep spawning on the roof of my house. All right, um, and then we're going to take blue pressure plate, and I like to do it just a couple blocks away. So one, two blocks in between on each side. And then we're going to take our wire, our wrench, and place our wires connecting them together. So the point here is that when you run across, you will actually run across... Um, yeah, I didn't do that right. Run across both pressure plates and then you can activate it twice versus just once. So if we run by, you can see I grabbed two mana crystals. And if I run down here, I'll get two hearts. I ran by a little fast. When you're wearing your speed boots, sometimes um, you can run past the statues too quickly, and then you won't actually pick up both stars or both hearts. And I usually don't wear my speed boots during a fight, so that's not a problem. I change them out for something that's more defense-related or attack-related. Uh, and that's why I have the asphalt on the bottom, so I can use it for my speed. And I have my wings to fly around, and I can move around the arena quickly. So now we have a couple places where we can actually get some regeneration for our mana and health during a fight. So, I think that uh, about does it for a basic arena. And uh, the other last piece that I usually add is a... Um, what's it called? <laughs> Drawing a blank. A crystal ball. And the powerful wizard that you find underground sells one of those, and since I just changed to this new map, I don't actually have him yet. Um, I just switched to hard mode last night in this world, and so I haven't found him for this world yet, and I think I may have brought one over from my other world. I don't know if I want to move it. I like it here, so I'm not going to grab another one. But anyway, that's the arena, so let's see if we can summon a boss and fight one, just to uh, see how it goes. I'm gonna drop off all the stuff I just grabbed so I don't have it in my inventory. I have any bosses already ready to summon, so I might have to make one. Um, that looks like I could do Skeletron Prime or the Twins. So let's go ahead and do Skeletron Prime. Him first. <laughs> They're both pretty hard in my opinion, so I'm just gonna go with one. And then we're going to grab potions, so we have that situated for the fight. So we're going to get a flask of fire. Um, we want regeneration. Iron skin potion. Swiftness potion. Thorns potion. Uh, Man, that's not really a big deal. We got plenty of stuff over there for that. Uh, what else do we want? 20% increased magic damage. That won't hurt. Okay. So, it looks like we have what we need, and... It's just about morning, and I don't want to have to fight him twice, and if I don't beat him by daytime, I have to do it again, so we will just spend the time uh, working on something else for now until nighttime comes around again. So I definitely need some trees, and I'm working on, also in addition to my arena, uh, getting my mini biomes garden set up here in my new world, and as you can see it's pretty rough. I haven't added any lighting yet. Um, I got my mushroom biome up top. 
so I can get the NPC. I haven't done much beyond that. So I do need wood, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and up some wood here while we wait. Werewolves are relentless. So if you're looking to build an arena in Terraria on the Xbox One, uh, let's just take a quick overview of what you need here. So you want a house that's nearby that you can sleep in with a bed so that you spawn right next to your arena so that if you die you can stay in the fight and you don't have to start over. You also want an easy way that's quick in and out of your house into your arena. So I'm using automatic doors, uh, as you can see, to get quickly from the house back into the arena. Uh, the next thing you want is to have the bottom floor of your arena be asphalt, which is made using cobblestone and gel, so that you can run super fast to get away from the boss that you're fighting. The next thing you want is platforms going up and down the arena, so that you can move around quickly during the fight, jumping up and down through sections and evading the boss. Next thing you'll want is lights so that you can see during nighttime without the aid of additional potions that you might not need uh, by having the necessary lighting in your arena. Uh, you also want to make sure your arena is closed in on all sides so that other uh, enemies such as these werewolves or flying creatures don't come into your arena during the boss fight so you don't have to deal with other things. You also want to make sure that you have uh, elements for life regeneration during the fight in addition to your potions. So I am using heart lanterns, which take a mana cr or a life crystal and uh, iron chains to make. And I've hung them all around the arena so that no matter where I am, I still have the buff. And you also want a campfire for the same purpose. Um, because of the size of my arena, my campfire extends anywhere I am in it, so I only needed to have one. And then lastly, you'll want to have some statues uh, to help you get extra mana. So we have a star statue wired up with two pressure plates, one on each side, and then a heart statue so you can get hearts during the fight. And so that is the basics for what you need to build an arena in Terraria on the Xbox One. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more like this, please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and also follow me here on Twitch for more live broadcasts all at Red Lace Gaming. And you can also visit my website, redlacegaming.com. So it looks like it's about daytime now, and I think...